So I'm going to be doing my One Direction thing, and I'm going to be signing. Sorry, I'm texting these puppy for the first time while she's in Florida. So, okay, let's get this. I'm going to read a page about... Page 152. Oh, what? Oh, good. Okay, so we're going to be reading about Nile. So it's, these are the pictures and stuff, and it's really cool. So, let me move them right here. Hey, can you see? Okay. So, I've got so many good memories from the time in the band that I could talk for days. 2011 was a crazy year for us. We kicked, we kicked it off by winning the Brit Award. Then we had two number one albums in America, won VMAs, played the Olympics in Madison Square Garden, so much. Performing at Madison Square Garden was one of the best memories of my life. We had a we had a runway built on the stage that was T shaped. That was T shaped. We came up from the bottom of the stage, and I remember looking directly up and seeing the scoreboard with Madison Square Garden written on it, and I just nodded to myself. I couldn't believe we were there. There was a block to the left stage that was full of friends and family. They'd flown out from New York to see us. They'd flown out to New York to see us. And we all had drinks afterwards. Hopefully that means water. <laughs> which, which was amazing. The last time we'd all been together was probably at the X Factor final. When I look at where we are now, it's almost unbelievable. All of my mates are at college now, and that would have been me too. Although, having said, I wasn't great at school, and I used to skip a lot, skip lessons a lot. So who knows where I would have ended up. I feel so grateful for everything that's happened, and that's why I never moan if I'm tired or if I'm missing bed. And then it says, take off where we've been. So I'll read another page to you. Um, I'll read it. Okay, so New York is such a cool place to visit, and I love Australia as well. The people over there have such a se have a similar sense of humor to us, and they've always always up to laugh. Japan is also incredible. The people there are so friendly and respectful. Plus, the food is amazing. We've loved visiting so many European countries on our take her home, take me home tour. It's great seeing lots of different cultures because you learn so much. The contrast is between, say, Spain and Italy is incredible. They're such a short flight from each other, but the people are so different. One of the best things about traveling is trying all the different kind of foods. Italian food tastes so different in, a, in a Italy and how it does in the UK. It's what Italian food should taste like. Sometimes we don't get a chance to see, a, see much of the countries we go to, which is such a shame. When we go to Madrid for the first time, we drove straight from the airport to a hotel. We passed a lot of favorite landmarks, but we didn't get a chance to stop. We were in the room for the whole day and flew home again the same night, so we literally only saw the hotel. But on the Take Me Home tour, we've seen a lot. We've had a lot more time to get to see tons of places. We take full advantage. I'm a bit rubbish, rubbish with shopping when we're traveling. I did buy a soccer shirt on the way back from our comic relief trip to Gaia Be Ghana, being there was so incredible. I wanted to, I wanted to have something to remember it by. So yeah. Um, sorry. So I'm gonna read another page. I'm gonna find. Okay, so. Oh, look at that delicious. Oh. Well, I'm going to read another page, and then this is going to be my last page, guys. So, realizing that the people like Katy Perry and Rihanna knew who we were just crazy. We also also spent, we also spent have been lucky enough to do some incredible TV shows. I think the second time we are paid on the Today Show in New York, that were about 70,000 people there. The fans stayed outside in the cold for a week. A few days before we had due to appear, I washed back the studio with my hood up. It was late in the night. And I had a jet lag, jet and couldn't sleep. I'm gonna actually go to a different page because I've read that already. Let's see what I'm on. 
I'm going to read music and more. It's like a short page. We released our second album, Take Me Home, in loads of different countries within the place of a few, within the same place of a few days. And as they rolled on, we kept getting told that it was gone to number one in another country and another and another. Within about four days, it was number one in 37 countries, and we couldn't believe it. It was the second big, biggest album in America in 2012. That's just unreal. Our music means everything to us. Well, we're happy to say that we didn't dance. We know we can write songs and we can sing, and it's so important. And it's so important to us that people like what we do. You think my favorite songs so far are the ones we've written and collaborated on? Back for you was we it was all about the lads leaving their girlfriends behind when they go on to it. It was letting them know that they're coming back for them. Louis, Louis, Louis. Lee. Liam and Zane wrote Last First Kiss, and I think it's the best song on the second album. It's honest and clean. I'm going to read the next page because this is, like, really cool, actually. So everyone loves the fun, cheesy songs, and I love them, too. Heart Attack is great to sing along to and great to perform. We believe in our music, and I think that comes across when we're performing. If you didn't like what you were singing, it would be so boring to have to go through the motions on, out stage, and it would be the rubbish show. It would be a rubbish show. That's why we're, we're so particular. We love, we, we've loved going to, Brit, to Brits in the last two years. It's such a buzz. You get you get such nice food, such nice food, and you get to sit with some of the biggest stars in the world. Ed Sheeran told me in 2011 he was sitting in between Rihanna and Bruno Mars, and he he said he was thinking, "I'm just a little, just a little getting blow." What am I doing here? I was the same. I couldn't believe I was in the same room as such big stars. Performing in 2013, Brits was ridiculously good. Sorry, I can't talk, guys. And it was the same as the VMAs. Some of the some of the most amazing artists like Eminem and Usher have played at the VMAs. The minute our car pulled up to the red carpet, it really hit me how much of a massive ma massive deal it was. We were sitting along Pink, Neo, Drake, um, Lil Wayne, you name it, they were there. They ended up with the three awards. Then we ended up with three awards. Every time our name was called out, we didn't know what to do. We were like kids. So yeah, guys. I read more later. Bye.